to uh, trading update that we saw yesterday. Uh, we saw Stefanuti stocks and Peregrine. The story is consistent. There is a general improvement in the economy, and it's beginning to be reflected in the trading results. Would you concur? Certainly, uh, Godfrey. We're at the initial stages of a turnaround there. A lot of these companies coming off very, very low bases indeed. If you look at the peak, I think Peregrine's earnings in 2008, March 2008, were about two rand twenty-five a share. Mm -hmm. They've given a update now um, of about. 20 to, it seems like 20 to 30 percent from the um, low last year of 33 cents. It's mm. quite a major, major turnaround. Mm. Mm. So slowly but surely we are seeing things starting to turn around. In terms of Peregrine, the, the whole focus is on market. Market movements are very, very important to them. If you look at the constituents, a number of hedge funds, mm. you look at private wealth management, mm. Mm. you're looking at Stenham. Stenham is a company which they acquired in the UK about a year or two <coughs> ago, and that one has disappointed in in the short term. Mm. Now, but why would that be? Because I, I think we, we know markets globally have rallied very, very strongly indeed to a stage where some people are beginning to say we're seeing a lot of froth in the markets and really some of the money should be coming off the markets. So why would anyone be underperforming? When you say under, underperforming in, in terms of? In, in, in terms of uh, the fund that you're talking about for... for, for I think there was a problem in one of the... One of the peri uh, One of the Stenum property funds. Yeah. <coughs> okay. so I think it was a once-off situation. Right, right. You know that the UK property market took one hell of a beating over Absolutely. the last year or two. Yeah. And that might have impacted on those results. Yeah. Let's talk about Stefanuti. Stefanuti, the results very good indeed as we expected in these circumstances. And it's also consistent with uh, a number that we saw coming out today. You may not have seen it. Uh, Merchants had put out a CEO confidence index that they look at every quarter. They go and talk to CEOs and sound them out about what kind of conditions they're seeing in the market. And that uh, index coming in today showing an improvement overall, but particularly for industrial companies, consistent with what we're seeing from Stefanetti. Yeah, if you have a look at the confidence index, the purchasing manager index, the increase in industrial um, the industrial index and the mining index, everything is slowly starting to come together. Yeah. We're at the beginning, the cusp of an upswing in, in the economy. Have uh, we turned the corner, though? Um, Are we on the home stretch today? I think we have turned the corner, yes, Sir Godfrey. Uh -huh. The upswing is still fragile, um, but certainly confidence is gaining momentum. The World Cup should also help in terms of being a major, major boost to yeah. confidence uh, factor, yeah. particularly if we can get through the first round and maybe <laughs> the second or third round. That would sort of already boost confidence, cons consumption of, of all types, and uh, give a major, major uh, uh, boost to the economy. I can see the glint in your eye, Ron, and I think I, I, it will remain that because the chances of that happening, of course, while slim, they are there, they are there, so they must be taken. But let's talk about Stephanie some more because uh, part of the problem last year we saw there were fewer projects, and as a result, we know what happens to the builders when there are fewer projects, they tend to lower their margins to try and see if they can compete. Are we beginning to see an improvement in those operating profit margins? I think it's early days yet, Godfrey. Mm. The big cream was in terms of the stadia right. and various other government spending yeah. projects which are all coming to an end. Yeah. Because yeah. the demand was greater than the supply, the guys all raised their, their margins. Work is scarce now. The potential for work is still there yeah. once the government, Eskom and other parastatals do pull the strings and start spending. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But margins will unlikely to return to those uh, really frothy levels that we saw previously. Yeah, but I'd imagine the government would be spending a little more now because we saw the numbers that Praveen Gordon presented last week showing an overall improvement in that, that budget deficit far, far, far better than expected. Let's look lastly at uh, uh, our coal miner, Keaton Energy. Yesterday they announced to the market that uh, they have now <coughs> a mineable resource of 69 million tons at Stekfontein. Is that a surprise for you? Not really. I think they've been working on this for some time there, Godfrey. Um, what they're doing is a pre-feasibility study around about July of this year. Mm -hmm. um, they will then have a look at what the capex is entail, what the time it will take to, to bring this underground mine into production. That might be here a year, two, three years or, or away. It's more of a developmental company. If you look at the peak in the market when these shares were issued, I think about a year, 18 odd months ago, 12 rand a share. 
Um, when that uh, demand for medium and small caps was there, the share price did spike up to 14 Rand 50. It reached the low of about 5 Rand. It's currently trading around about 6 Rand. Mm -hmm. So we do need appetite for the small and particularly the better quality medium caps to expand. As this market does uh, expand in the course of time, not to say we're not going to have some sort of correction or pullback, sure. then I think demand for those better quality medium caps will come into vogue again. Mm. So Paul Miller and these guys are doing a good job there? I think so, yes. Absolutely. There is the skills, there is the expertise and the experience by the top management.